This past weekend, the women's swim and dive team traveled to Massachusetts to compete in the America East Swim and Dive Championship. Senior Caitlin Kelly broke two records and won two events. This week, for the Bearcat Brief, I jumped in the pool with Caitlin Kelly to get an idea of what it's like to be a collegiate Division I swimmer. Thanks. It doesn't fit. It's too small. You got it? Yeah. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Dorino singing. Ho, 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 I love to swim in Dorin. when you want to. Caitlin had a really amazing weekend at the America East Championship meet. She broke a couple records. Caitlin, tell me what it was like to win the America East 50 meter freestyle. Uh, it was a pretty great feeling to be able to redeem the title that I won last year and come in again and touch that wall first it was a pretty great feeling and also seeing my teammates at the end of the lane jumping up and down and cheering for me was pretty rewarding in itself as well. So, You're a senior now, you've been working hard for the past four years, can you tell me what it was like to win the 50 free? <sighs> well, it was definitely very emotional. I. Like you don't realize it until it's very delayed the reaction you have you once you realize that it's all over you, I literally started crying hysterically on the pool deck like coach was having a meeting with all of us like congratulating us we finally had you know beaten Maine we didn't get last for the first year and <laughs> since I've been here and I just started I just like broke down and started crying in front of everyone it was probably the ugliest cry you've ever seen but <laughs> it was very emotional it's sad that it's over but you know glad that it happened. <laughs> What's a normal day of swim practice leading up to the conference championship? Uh, well, it's actually a little bit more relaxed than you would see in a practice in like mid-season because mid-season you're getting beaten down and literally like dragging yourself all over campus to go to class. But towards the end of what we call taper, was right before championships, uh, the workouts aren't as intense. There's a lot less yardage, so we're doing a lot less in the pool. So we're only in the pool for like an hour as opposed to two and a half. What we normally are, so it's a lot less intense. There's some short bursts of really hard stuff in practice, but overall, it's a lot easier and there's a lot more energy <laughs> on the pool deck and in the locker room afterwards. I've been to a lot of swim meets before, and I always see your teammates hooting and hollering on the sideline. Like, how does that make you feel when you're racing? Do you hear them? Do you not hear them? It a lot of people think that you can't hear anyone, and most of the time you can't, but especially when you're like at a championship atmosphere, when all the teams are at the end of the pool deck screaming for their teammates, and you just when you turn to breathe and you see them all there like, God, you're like, oh my God, I have to do this. Like They're cheering for me. They want it just as bad as I do. And when you turn on the wall and you see the other girls, and you're all doing kicks underwater, and you're like, no, this is my team. This is my time. And you touch that wall, and you see that you win, you're like, yeah. So you see everyone else doing, like, jumping up and down, it's, oh, it's great. <laughs> Our co-host, Connor Nealis, has decided to race Caitlin in the pool today. Connor, how do you feel about this? Um, I'm a little nervous, you know, but I think I could break a record on there, so I'm trying to make some names. Caitlin, what do you think about racing Connor today? Well, you know, I'm pretty confident that I'll win this event. Uh, you know, I don't like to lose, especially especially the boys. I mean, that's what I would figure, especially to Connor. <laughs> Thank you very much to Caitlin Kelly for joining us this week. Stay tuned for next week's.